the member in a moment. I'll get the member in order. Order. It's enough. The Honorable Member for Medicine Hat, Carson Warner. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This Liberal government's ideological failure on firearms and public safety continues. Their misguided targeting of law-abiding and legal gun owners is now focused on the implementation of another attempt at a gun registry rather than on criminals who illegally up to obtain firearms illegally and they're smuggled into this country to kill on our streets. This government has shifted from their self-proclaimed evidence-based decision-making to decision-based evidence-making. When will the minister finally wake up to the fact that his failures are costing Canadians lives? I'll get to the member minister in a moment. The Honourable, the Honourable Minister of Public Safety. Well, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. And you know, with order. It's going to be a long question for you today. I mean, we're only on number 14 here, guys. Number 15. All right. The Honourable Minister of Public Safety. Uh, Mr. Speaker, with respect, I, I've visited uh, my honourable colleagues' riding. I've met with the law-abiding uh, shooters and, and hunters, and uh, we have great respect for uh, those individuals because we know that they value safety. Uh, the measures we've introduced are common sense. They're about making sure that guns don't fall into the hands of the wrong people, in, in, including criminals, Mr. Speaker. The measures we've introduced on this side of the House ensure that AR-15s have no place in our communities. The measures that we've introduced, Mr. Speaker, on this side of the House are to invest in communities to prevent gun crime from occurring in the first place. I wish my honourable colleague would support those measures. It's the right thing to do.